Today's topic will be Visual Analytics Express. First thing we're going to do is locate a data set. We're going to locate a data set online on the Virginia Education Statistics. You could choose whatever data set you want. I'm just going to go into their URL. They have a few data sets there that are good to use. And I'm just going to grab the data for research, the annual dropout rates. I believe it's at the bottom. Yep, there it is, the annual dropouts. And I'm going to download it onto my computer. And then I'm going to go ahead and view the data just to make sure that it's populated, not empty, it doesn't have any issues. Well, once I review it, I can close it. Now I'm ready to create my Analytics Express account with the data used. And if I'm not sure what the data contains, there, this in this case it has a definition of all the The next step we need to uh, log in to our MicroStrategy Express account. If you don't have one, you can create one. Anyway, uh, you can just type in www.microstrategy.com and follow it with Express. Depending on your country, it'll readjust the URL. And see a link here analytics express sign in again my strategy is changing its uh, offering so this may or may not remain here so just if you don't find it here you can use the menu and search for it from the menu bar right here and search for it okay but at any rate you are going to click at the analytics express sign in page and start your sign in process here or your sign up process Okay, sign up if I don't have an account, or I can simply sign in if I have an account with my email address and other information that they need me to use. Once I enter my stuff, I'll be into the Analytics Express dashboard creation wizard. I'll start with a new dashboard. First thing, I need to load the data or point to my data, whichever way I use, or if I have a database that I want to link to. Salesforce, Google Drive, etc. First thing, let me grab the URL and show you how I could, I could have done it without actually downloading the file. Go back to that website and go here and just right click. I'm going to grab the URL, copy the link, go back, paste it. Or I could have just simply used the file that I downloaded. Okay, either way is the same thing. So if I go back, I can go ahead and grab from a file, go to the file that I downloaded, browse, find it, and go from there. Okay. Either way, I will get the same data. You'll notice all my columns are listed here. Most of them have the attribute icon next to them, but I might need to switch some of them to metrics. Sometimes my shed is smart enough to figure it out on its own, but sometimes you need to actually go in and make a manual switch from an attribute to a metric. Just as dropout count. All right, there you go. Now it's a metric. And I'm going to continue after reviewing all my columns. First thing, I'm going to choose the correct or the desired visual. Now if you choose one and you change your mind later, that's okay. Here let's just use the horizontal stacked uh, visual. By default, my strategy will drop in a few items. If I'm not satisfied with them, I'm just going to go ahead and change it. Let me just choose the district or county and keep the dropout count but I'm going to color by the gender and I'm going to break by the gender just to give it a little bit more uh, analysis capability just to show you the power of the visual. Also I'm going to go in here and I'm going to add you can add filters and page by. Let's start with filters. Alright so I'm going to filter and I'm just going to do a limited view because I have so much data I'm going to choose the district by dropout count and let's just do a top end by lowest let's keep lowest 10 that's fine and by dropout count all 
All right, there we go. We have the lowest 10 by dropout count. And I'm also going to add a filter on gender. And I want to remove all the null values because I noticed a bunch of nulls. And there you go. Now I got a more accurate visual. The filters are very dynamic. You can slide here and change the amounts as much as you need to add more data or remove data from your view. All right, let's continue. Now that we have it created, I can share it. A lot of sharing options here. Emails, deliveries, links, etc. So there's the link once I chose this show link. Alright, thank you so much and have a great day.